everyone. Today I want to talk about mail merge. Suppose you have a mass mail that you want to send to different recipient, and you have the same content, of course, in the letter, but just need to change the name and the address. So it would be quite easy that you just have like five or six people that you can just copy the content again, and again, and then just changing the word, just changing the uh, name of the company and also the address, right? But if you have like 1,100 companies or people to send, then probably there would be a headache, right? So you want to seek for, is there any ways that you can generate this kind of letters automatically, right? So in such a case that you want to find is the function of mail merge, right? So right here, I have a template of the letters, so just ignore what its content is, <laughs> because I've just copied it from the template of Microsoft Word. Uh, suppose I need to change like dear someone, right? Dear Jane or Kate or whatever, and then I want to add the address right here and the company name right here as well. So I just use the same content, but I just want to change specifically, specifically these spaces. Okay, so the spaces I'm going to change has been already typed into an Excel file, so you can see that in here, the company name, the address, and also attendance name. So once you have these two elements, then you will be able to use the mail merge function, right? So you go back to the Microsoft Word, and then you click the tag uh, mail links. On the mail links, you can select start mail merge, and then you can select step by step mail merge wizard. And right here on the right hand side, we have an information box and ask you to select the document type, so you can select letters. Of course, you can select other document type, but in here I'm going to use letters as an example. And then you click next. And then of course using the current document, so using the templates right here I've typed. And click next. And then start uh, asking you to select the recipient. So I choose uh, using an existing list because I've already typed the recipients in my Excel file. And then I browse the file right here and then it asks me to select whether I need to, need to choose the sheet 1 or sheet 2 so I have the information on the sheet 1 so I select sheet 1 and then click OK so the information from the Excel file has already been copied into the mail merge function so if you can have a look of the you can have compare it Right. You can compare it like the company name and also attendance have been copied to the mail merge function. And right here you can do some simple uh, sorting and filtering functions. Like if I want to like sort according to company name, then I can click here once. If I don't want like Google to exist in my mail merge in my letter, then I can uncheck it. Right? So after you have finished the things that you want to do, then you can click OK. And then I can click on next step to write your letter. And then right here we can add the field. Okay. So what the meaning of the field is, for example, if I'm going to like dear someone, so probably here will be the name of the attendant. So I will click, uh, I will move the cursor right here, and then I select more items. And then you can select insert in the database field and attendant and then click insert okay and then close it so you will automatically have the attendant right if you click the word attendant it would become great and with a box so that means that if you're going to generate uh, you, if you're going to finish this mail merge function that you will be going to generate different attendance name according to the excel file right so of course I want to add the company name and also the address, so I click more items and then I click company, address 1, address 2, address 3, and then close it. Okay, so I can also do the formatting right here, so I will address 1, with the different lines. Okay, Okay. so after you have uh, added all the fields, alright, after you have do it, You've done it, and then you can uh, select next to preview your letters, and you can see that it will automatically changed according to uh, the Excel file. So you can choose uh, choose to preview different files by clicking here. So you can 
click the arrows here to select different files. So I have four information. So you see then the names and also the company that address change in different files. Okay. So if you think that will be okay and you didn't have any problems, so you can click next to complete the merge. And you can select two things. You can select print, which will direct, directly send your printers, or you can click edit individual letters. So it will generate a new document with four different um, letters according to the names. Okay, so you can select edit individual letters, and then you click all and click OK. So it will generate four letters with the same content, but just changing the name and the company name. And the address, right? So this is Mel Merch, and I hope it helps. Uh, remember to like or subscribe our YouTube channel if you find it useful. And here again, thanks for watching.